so you've decided to recommend to your patient uh, Stavarga regorafenib in the refractory setting for metastatic colon cancer. How do you dose it? What are your secrets? Sure. So as you know, the, uh, the approved dose for Stavarga is 160 milligram, 21 days, one, one week off. So four pills, 21 days. Okay. okay. However, we learned after, after the drug was available to everybody that perhaps this dose is, is too high for, for most of the patients. Uh, so in my own practice, what I actually like, I like to start at lower dose. What dose? So it, it depends on the performance set of the patient. So usually my, my average dose is 120, uh, but it's also common to use 80. And then I, uh, I go from there if I need to go up or down. How do you make that decision to go up or down? So usually I bring the patient one week right after I start, after I start the medicine and I check him, I check on him and see how he's doing and, and uh, his functional status, any complaint. I also pay close attention to his lab, especially his liver function test and, uh, and, uh, uh, and a few other things to, to make sure there's no red flag to, to get me to either reduce the dose or stop. Biggest side effects you tell the patient? I always warn them about uh, hand foot syndrome. I always warn about diarrhea, perhaps some hypertension and fatigue. Yeah, big important ones. So we come out of the room, we said, okay, we're gonna give this patient Stavarga. Now what do you do? Sure, so there's a couple of things that I kind of focus on. Number one, a lot of patients are gonna to wanna to know, number one, is my insurance gonna pay for this? How am I gonna pay for it? How am I gonna get it? So I go in depth about specialty pharmacies. Most insurances these days dictate you have to get it to a specialty pharmacy. So we go over that process with them. Um, number two, what if their copay is too high? Um, I talk to them about um, you know programs for copay assistance, how we're gonna figure that out. And then of course, um, usually the doctor gives a, an overview of the side effects and then I try to go in depth, see if they have any questions. So kind of like Dr. Salem said, especially with the Regit Raffinib, I'm gonna talk to them about fatigue, diarrhea, um, side effects to look for in case their liver function is changing. Um, do you hand out those little kits? Do we use those? Yep, so we have. Do you think they're useful? Depends on the, mm. on the patient, I think. So there's there's like um, a cream in there and socks, which is really good for the hand foot mm. stuff. Mm. And then I tell people, you're gonna wanna you know put this cream on morning and probably night. Okay. Kind of that so off. quick summary, depending on the performance status, drop your dose, 80 or 120, typically. See them weekly, get labs, yeah. look at their hands, look at their labs, um, adjust up if you can get away with it. So if I start 120, I try not to adjust up unless if I need to. Gotcha. So it's really the 80 that you're adjusting yeah. up, all right? Is anybody you start at 160? Uh, in a clinical trial. In a clinical trial. Make sure they get it covered um, and because they won't comply unless they do. Right. Quick follow-up, tips on how to manage the hand foot. Um, so, yeah. That's how we do it at Lombardi.